Hello insiders, news flash time. First update, a new report in YouTube Studio merges two existing monthly insights about subscribers performance and revenue performance and then adds a new analysis for views. It includes a new visualization with a monthly bar chart showing 13 months so that you can quickly gauge monthly performance and identify potential seasonal trends. Uh, so check it out. It is in YouTube Studio Analytics in the channel overview uh, and should appear for your kind of monthly insights. So probably at the uh, beginning of each month. I usually say this is not available on Studio Classic, but that bad boy is gone. Next, we are enabling another new feature very soon, live alerts for merch. So creators using Teespring will see user visible alerts in your live chat when someone buys a product from your store. So if you're doing a live stream and you use YouTube merch and it's connected to the Teespring integration and someone buys a t-shirt, it'll be visible to everybody in the chat and we think it will help drive awareness and sales, kind of similar to when someone becomes a member in live chat. So we'd love to get your feedback on whether this feature would be of interest to you, if you have any concerns, or if you think it's a good idea, a bad idea, whatever you think, let us know in the comments below. Next, in an effort to support COVID-19 relief, we've expanded the availability of the giving feature, enabling 40,000 creators and artists in US, UK, and Canada. In fact, a new feature allows campaign organizers to directly link to their fundraiser so that others can join and add it to their own videos. YouTube and Google.org are matching $2 for every $1 donated up to $5 million if you participate in the COVID-19 Solidarity Response Fund for the WHO. This is a campaign hosted by the UN Foundation Channel. And so far, this fundraiser has raised $1.8 million. And if you include the Google and YouTube matching, it would be $5.3 million so far. And here's an update for you folks who are using our paid digital goods like Super Chat, Super Stickers, or our channel memberships and merch programs. We've seen more and more channels earning money from these monetization programs. In fact, over 80,000 channels have earned money from these products over the last 28 days alone. This is an increase of 20% since March. We've also seen an increase of over 40% since January in channels who earn the majority of their revenue from these products, Super Chat, Super Stickers, Memberships, and Merch. Since the beginning of March, 2 million viewers have bought their first Super Chat, Super Sticker, or Membership on YouTube. And lastly, the trivia question uh, was how could you boost your memberships in a very simple one and done way? And the first guess that was correct was from Easy Peasy Finance. Easy Peasy said, something you could do to boost memberships on your channel is use a video post to spread awareness about your channel memberships. That's correct. The number one thing you can do is just tell your viewers about the program. A lot of people think like, oh, once I enable it, it'll just the money will just start coming through. You do have to let your viewers know that the program exists and tell them some of the benefits of joining. In fact, I did talk to the team for some other tips to get the most out of your memberships program if you've enabled it for your channel. First is making a dedicated video. It's kind of like a channel trailer, but for the memberships program. And you can talk about why memberships are important to you, what your members get by joining, and then you just add it to your offer screen by going to the memberships tab in YouTube Studio, clicking on the intro video item in the memberships playbook. And this means every time someone clicks that join button, they're gonna see this dedicated video of you explaining why memberships are important and why someone should consider joining. Another easy one is add a membership link to your video description through your upload defaults. Then you, it'll always be there. You don't have to keep remembering to add it. Another one is having different tiers. So it's often good to have a very low price point that's very accessible, but then have additional price points where people who wanna support your channel more have that option. Another idea that we've seen creators do is they create a playlist of their members only videos, but they put it on the home page. This way, anybody who's not a member sees that the playlist exists 
uh, may try and watch the video, but then realize, oh, you know, I gotta become a member to get this bonus content. And lastly, adding that join link to your profile page on other social media profiles is always a no brainer. Helps you get more members and doesn't cost you anything. Okay, so that was last week's trivia. For this week's trivia, I wanted to see if you all had ideas on how to improve your thumbnail and title game. And let me be really specific. We all know that YouTube is a platform with lots and lots of choices for viewers. If you uploaded a video, let's say last week, and you thought you did a pretty good job with your title and thumbnail, how would you see examples of really great title and thumbnails that are related to your video? Basically, it's kind of like your competition for that viewer's attention. So put it in the comments below on how you would do that. How would you get a sense and feel for your last video's thumbnail title competition? And uh, first person to make a correct guess will give you a shout out in the next week's newsflash. Keep it real.